So Lee, tell us about your boat here, High Hopes. I'm a fighter rider built in uh, 1990, a couple of years before the moratorium get there and uh, didn't know if it was a good investment or not at the time. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like uh, it panned out and through tick and tin we made it there and, and on came shellfish so he kept it in the family and mm -hmm. kept it running. And uh, well, she's here now 32 later, 32 years she's been fishing. She brought her work so far, so that's a good thing. Uh, and you were you were in your mid-teens when the moratorium was announced. Can you take me back to that time? What do you remember about that time? Oh, uh, it was a pretty busy time here in Bonavista. Uh, the plant was in full swing and everything, and once, I guess, uh, the stocks went down a bit and things started to turn, well, I guess people started to move away and go to other rock occupations and one thing or another, but uh, there's still a few guys out in with the fishing because, I mean, like I said, some years better than others. I was in school, I'd be picking up odd jobs, mowing lines, and I'd be over cutting out tongues in the plant there if you were allowed in and doing stuff like that. And I went to work after the moratorium there first at the grocery store around here, Loga, and uh, Everyone else was moving, so I said, well, I have to make a move too, and went to the mainland like, like a good many more, and I took... But the, you came back? Oh, yeah. I could, well, Dad uh, was getting up there in age. He started to feel it, so I said, now, well, I'll see what I can do to help him out, and I got two kids of my own now coming up, so hopefully one of these days it'll be there for them, so... That's what I'm hoping for now. I'm not saying they got to be fishermen people, but they got a boat there anyway. So, but. Why did you decide to come back with all of the uncertainty in the fishery? You decided to come back and to carry on your family legacy because you're a fourth generation fisherman. Generation. Why did you want to do that? Why did you make that choice? Uh, I guess that's just me. I guess I grew up on the beaches and picking up all the little creatures and stuff, so it's something I really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And when I was working away on the mainland, it wouldn't, uh, you had that work vibe, it was good, but good money in some ways, but that's not where your art is. You mm -hmm. had to do what you wanted, it's something you enjoyed, whether money was there or not. So I, I, I'm I, happy with my decision to come back there, and she, she's uh, working out for me so far. Well, it's a very different Bonavista now uh, compared to when you grow when you uh, grew up oh, here. Yeah. A lot of changes, all of all of the businesses. H how do you see Bonavista these days and the opportunities that are available here? Oh, it's a great place to live. I mean, uh, we got a lot more, oh, I'll say, different businesses now than what we used to have. A lot less convenience stores and stuff, but. Uh, it was a great place back then, and hopefully one of these days now it's starting to bounce back. And uh, if we can get the plant there straightened out, there'll be a lot of people working over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got crab now, but uh, if the cod come back, you could have a lot of people working there, and then opportunities for other people for businesses, and like even the convenience stores you might see bounce back one of these days, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a great place for a family, and. Uh, like I say, there's uh, no shortage of work around here now. It seems like everybody's hard. But... Uh, Wasn't like that in 1992? No, I mean, 92, you had, to, you had to go to work at a grocery store or something you didn't really want to do. Mm -hmm. Either that or go away. Uh, you could have went to school, and a lot, of, a lot of people did, but some of them stuck in jobs now that they don't enjoy. So I got... Uh, I'm lucky enough, I guess, to be able to take over what Dad left and... Uh, Make a go of it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for telling us about oh, it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, perfect. Anytime. <laughs>